you impudent fools. I'll show you. So once you deal enough damage to the feed, he changes into his final form. You can treat him much the same way as you did in his first form, except that he has a lot more HP, so he takes quite a long time to deal with. He also doesn't take much damage from physical attacks. So here I have Balam guarding Mu while he casts a spell. I have Silk attacking Shen since she's the fastest attacker. You can also attack your entire party. As you can see, with Silk's full wind armament, she um, gets turns almost every two seconds. So she's by far the fastest character. It's vital that you have someone guarding Mu, otherwise you'll never be able to finish a spell with him. Now, I use Zeru Zere. So as you can see, well, although physical attacks do somewhere around 2 to 300 damage, Mu's spells can do 1800. So it's really the only way you can do any decent damage to him. Since Zeru Zere takes quite a long time to charge, here I'm going to try to cast Sangbaran. but it's nowhere near as effective as Zeru Zere. Here I'm going to try to cast Barugu, which is the attack spell of light, to see if maybe he has a weakness to that element. I'll use a full heal with Silk to heal Balam, and have him continue to guard Mu. I also use a full heal on Mu and one on Silk as well. Then I set Silk back to attack whilst Balam guards. I think this battle would probably be impossible if you weren't at least level 33. So Barugu, although it's a weaker spell than Zere Zere, and only hits one target, since it's light, which is the opposite element of shadow, it does a fair amount of damage to the feet. And Nimesha being shadow doesn't do much damage to the feet, since that's the element he's aligned with. Now he casts Tazadi, which is a healing spell of shadow. So I'm going to stick to casting Zeru Zere with Mu since that's my strongest spell. You have to be careful keeping an eye on Mu's MP because if you have insufficient MP to cast a spell, it will still let you intone it, and then when he tries to cast it, it will just say insufficient MP, which means you waste the time that you spent trying to cast it. Um, and since there's no numerical values on your HP or MP bar, you just kind of have to guess. Um, and you kind of get a feel for how much each of the spells costs. So if you're in doubt, it's always a good idea to use a hyper gem uh, or a power gem before casting a high level spell.
Okay, luckily that missed Moo, because my last spell with Moo was cancelled. So once Silk finishes her attack, I'll get her to use an item. So there she's attacked, now I'm going to have her use full heal on herself, one on Balam. And Moo casts ZZA. He's casting Barugu, which is the light spell. Which, as you can see, is very powerful. So, I use a Revival Stone with Silk to revive Moo. Leave Balam guarding Moo. And then charge Barugu of my own against Luffy. Basically, you have to keep Silk and Balam in support um, of Mu since they can't do much damage. So I tend to keep Balam guarding and Silk using items since she's fairly fast and can get attacks in in between healing. Luffy has the fastest cast time of any enemy in the game. So when he does cast spells like Baruku, um, he can intone them incredibly quickly. Luckily he doesn't cast spells too often, most of the time he attacks. Unfortunately all of his attacks hit our entire party, so you have to, you basically have to keep Mu guarded all of the time. I use another full heal with Silk on Balam and full heal on Silk and cast Barugu on the feed. He's charging Hazarig, which is the darkness healing spell, and I'm charging Zero Zero. Uh, but luckily Balam's attack finishes him off. Uh, uh, I I won't give up. I will never give in. No, he's trying to possess Mill's body. But I I can't move. You there, boy, now! While I'm weakened, kill me and Bufid together. Brother, if we do that, then you'll die as well. Hurry, before Lufid recovers. This will be the atonement for my sins. Balan, this is the destiny of those who fall into darkness. Brother, It's over. It's finally all over. Hmm. Come to think of it, where are Nuke and Mill? Oh, those two. They went on Deg's pirate ship to go on a honeymoon. Hmm. As always, doing whatever he wants. Well, I'm sure he'll come back at some point. Hmm. And before they get back, we must rebuild a new country. Balam, my father and I will lend you all our strength to create a great country. Mu? That's strange. Just now he was here. Mu disappeared? But... Mm, perhaps that boy 
In order to save this world, was sent by someone. Well, if he's alive, I'm sure we'll meet him again sometime. Yeah, that's right. We'll see him again. Someday.